Did I have a crush on him? On George Raff? You think I'm crazy? He was Italian. I was in enough trouble already. Besides, he wasn't my type anyway. It was your father I had the crush on since I was 14 years old. He was five years older than me, and he traveled with a whole other crowd. I was born in uh, New York City, Queens, New York. I uh, grew up mainly in Brooklyn. I lived in Queens, and then um, when I started, we started having a big family, I moved to Rockland County, West Nyack, New York. And I stayed there for 26 years. My children grew up there, and then um, I moved to South Jersey for a little while, and then to Florida, to Winmore. Well, I first got interested in theater, I, I can't even remember when, I must have been maybe six, seven years old, and I think I know why. It's because when I was six years old, I lost my father and my darling grandmother uh, at the same year. And I, I would go to the movies and we would play act, and I loved to just play act with my friends, and I would play different parts from the movies, you know, and my friends would, and that's where it started. I uh, started studying theater when I was about uh, 16, maybe even a little bit before. And uh, in my high school, which was James Madison High School in Brooklyn, very proud of it, uh, there was a radio workshop and a, and a theater group there. But I was not able to do a lot of the rehearsals with the theater group, but I was able to do the radio workshop. And in my last uh, senior year, um, every high school in the city was asked to select two students, uh, a, a, a guy, a girl, and a boy, to perform daily at the uh, WNYE, WNYC educational station in New York City. And so every day after school, which we got out about 1 p.m., I would take the subway and go to Brooklyn Boys Tech High School, and we would do radio acting there. We would get scripts. Uh, they would be uh, biographies, um, history, fairy tales, um, all kinds of stories. And we'd get a script in our hand, we would rehearse it one day, we'd come back the next day, and bingo, it was on radio live. So I had a whole year of that, and uh, fortunately, I was um, selected as best actress in all the high schools of New York City. And how I got that was um, they did a play on displaced persons, and I loved Ingrid Bergman. And I tried to speak like Ingrid Bergman with the accent and all, and I guess I did such a good job. They gave me the, uh, the award for best actress of the year in high school. Uh, after that, I went to study, maybe even before, I went to study at a Brooklyn drama school. It was a husband and wife. It was downtown Brooklyn. For the life of me, I cannot remember the name, but they were wonderful. And uh, we studied uh, with all uh, young high school students, boys and girls, and we did play after play and, and scene after scene. And we learned a lot about um, Stanislavski and the method and, uh, and things like that. So that was my pre-marital days, and I did do some acting in a couple of little theater groups in Brooklyn. When I was 20, I met my husband, and uh, we, um, we, he courted me for a few months. We, we got married, and he was a returning war veteran, and he was anxious to get married and have a family. So we started a family, and bing, bang, boom, I had four daughters in six years. The last ones were twin daughters, and they were a delight. Uh, we found that it was too um, confining in, in an apartment in, in Queens at that time we lived, and so we looked 
for a house and we bought a house in West Nyack in Rockland County. And I found a beautiful, wonderful, talented theater group, community theater group called the Elmwood Playhouse in Nyack, New York. Now this playhouse was attended and, and partly sponsored by actors like Helen Hayes and Richard Kiley who lived in the community. And uh, somebody told me that uh, Al Pacino at one point had acted with my theater group, which I don't remember. But we did um, a lot of plays there. Uh, I started uh, going back into the city when my children were a little older, and I studied at HB Studios. I also studied at the Brooklyn Academy of Music when I was still in uh, just after high school. So I went to HB Studios and I learned um, Shakespearean acting and uh, some improv and scene study. And uh, from that, I started teaching in Rockland County. I t taught um, teenagers, preteens, adults. I taught it in the Ys. I taught it in the um, after school activities because I didn't have a college degree. When I was young, my mother said, well, young girls who don't have fathers cannot afford college. And I loved, I would have loved to go to college because I, I had been a good student, but I didn't. Um, I went later on. When my children were teenagers, I started in Rockland Community College for two years. And um, I was the theater arts editor in Rockland Community College. Um, I wrote a lot of articles. Uh, I wrote um, about um, uh, subjects and I, I reviewed theater and I reviewed the plays on Broadway. I reviewed plays uh, locally and I reviewed some movies and I also interviewed the guest speakers that came to uh, the college. I went from diverse subjects to health and ESP and theater and dance and all of the arts and I enjoyed that very very much. He was hard to figure out. He was never a show-off, never a fancy Dan. He hardly ever smiled. I also started to study yoga when I was um, uh, in, uh, in my 30s. I had hurt my back gardening. I had a, a house with a lot of land in those days and I was a city girl who grew up on concrete so here I was suddenly in the country and uh, <clears throat> I hurt my back gardening and I was disabled for quite a long time and uh, the doctors didn't seem to help me and I didn't want to take a lot of strong pills so a friend of mine who was a dance teacher she said why don't you try uh, hatha yoga because it will strengthen your back and it will relax you because needless to say with four children and um, going to college and, and, and being active in the theater I was like a, a, a nervous dervish whirlwind all the time. So I started taking yoga with, with a gal who studied in New York and gave classes in her home in Nyack, New York and um, I took to it like a fish does in water. It relaxed me, it healed my back, it made me happy. I was more flexible than I had ever been in my life and I found that to my delight that I was able to, to do the lotus and stand on my head, which I had never had that kind of flexibility. So um, I started teaching yoga on a fluke. I mean, I was a member of the Nyack YMCA or YMHA and um, the uh, the instructor, the exercise instructor, hadn't shown up that day, and the women were a, a little disgruntled, and they said to me, oh, we're not having any exercise classes. I said, well, I'll show you a little yoga. Come downstairs. And we went down there, and I did some yoga with them, and they loved it, and they went to the director, and they asked if I could be hired as a yoga teacher, and that's how I started my yoga career. So from that, um, people liked my yoga classes, and they started coming, and I opened up my own studio in West Nyack, New York, and I taught Richard Kiley's wife and Jack Klugman's wife. I was doing um, yoga classes, and I was doing acting classes, and I was also, when I had time, I was also acting in, in the theater. 
And I was also directing. I directed uh, teenagers in, in some plays and a couple of workshops at, at the theater group. Uh, what happened uh, after um, 20 years of marriage, unfortunately, my